it's snowing. So yeah, so yeah, y'all know we live in Texas, so we don't get much snow around here. So even as adults, we get excited about the snow. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we are on our way to Dallas. I was supposed to meet um, Brandon and Kenton, but you know, we didn't show up. So I'm just gonna take them all the way. Um, Hey you guys, okay, so I'm just now starting to vlog for today. It is 2.37 and we are at Walmart. It's just me and this little one. Kenzie, say hi. <laughs> well anyways, my mom and Joy just went into Walmart. We're going to a bridal shower and it starts at 3. So, um, they just went inside to go get um, the gift. And I'm sorry y'all can't really see me. I don't really want to be in the sun, but you know, so hopefully that's good enough. But yeah, so we are kind of running late. Um, we always run late. Like that is nothing new with us women in our family. We're always running late everywhere we go. But I think we're doing good if we leave here. Like we're right down the street from where they stay. So if we leave here like 10 minutes till, we'll be good, I feel like. Um, but, yeah, door. Door. Open. Open. I can't open this. This is Nana's. I don't want to open Nana's wallet. So yeah, you guys, I'm so excited. I do not have the boys. They are um, in Dallas with their Mimi. Um, Brady had a basketball game today, so um, this was his first game. I'm sorry. It's just I felt like this car was going to hit me. But um, he had his first basketball game today. So yesterday, um, well, this weekend is supposed to be Dad's weekend. So. I took them to Dallas and um, he rode back with me so he can um, see Brayden or whatever. So the twins and Tristan is in Dallas and Brayden is with um, my dad and um, while we go to the shower. So I'm sorry. Look, the sun is so bright. I do not want to be in the sun. What? Where are you going? Where are you going? Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> oh. Say hi, Kenzie. Say hey. Say hi. Yeah, so we're waiting on Nana and her mom to come out, and we are going to. You gotta talk. <laughs> I think it's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. You gotta talk about what you did today. What you do? Uh, did. Yeah. And then what? Where is my phone? Can I get in, please? It's cold. Uh. Mama, can I have this pen? That's right. I don't even want my pen. Oh, oh, this here right here, though. It's nice. I'm sorry. Okay, so here is. <laughs> here is the ride. Yes, Bethany. <laughs> this is my cousin, my first cousin. Hey, guys. He's getting married. Uh, it's crazy, yeah. though, because we'll I did not. Well, I knew you were going to get married, but uh -huh. still, like, yes, it's happening. It's around. happening. Like you're supposed to still be a little girl. But look, y'all. Look at all these containers. There's gonna be a lot of food up in here. Got the cupcake. Yes, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Here's the. Green. Yes, they're so cute. Yep. Okay, you guys. So we are. Well, that's breaking and entering. You can't break into a, a store um, and eat all their stuff. If I could, if I want to. No, then you'll be in jail. I don't care. 
You don't care about going to jail? Then I'll just kill him with this. No, we don't kill people. I'll just kill him with this. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so we are on our way to Dallas. We're going to go pick up the boys. Brayden is in the back. Um, uh, but yeah, we, I didn't get to really vlog the uh, the I shower. The bridal. Hold on, Brayden. I didn't really get to vlog the bridal shower because we were having so much fun playing games and stuff. And um, at the end of the shower, we... Um, yes, yeah, my little cousin, my first cousin. So we really was able to talk and tell her, you know, give her much needed advice. And um, so we stayed, we stayed like later than everybody else did. So, but we had so much fun. And some of the advice that we were able to give her, you know, it was advice for me as well. Like, you know, in the future when. Um, Yes. So, um, yeah, it was really, really fun. We had a really good time. And, yeah, so we are on our way to Dad. Dallas. <laughs> we are on our way to... Dad. Yes, what he said. We're on our way to Dallas, and well, actually, we have to go pick up Brandon because we have to take him back. And um, yeah, but that's yeah. another story about that. But yeah, so we're on our way to get yeah. him. Brandon. No, you don't call him Brandon. It's your daddy. So we're on our way to go get him, and Bye. then. Hello. Okay, Brady wants to speak. Hold on, let me turn your light on. Hello. How y'all doing? Good. You're, That's you're... good. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, okay, so I guess I will be on our way. Be on our way and we'll come back when we get the boys. All right. Okay, so we finally made it to Dallas. We were at the gas station. They ran in to get, um, I don't know, I think something for his mom. So, um, yeah, but we're like right next door to the boys. I cannot wait to see them. I'm so excited. Um, I didn't miss them at all. I'm not going to lie. Because, um, you know, now that we are um, going through this divorce, uh, I have them all the time so to finally get a break like even if it's a couple days like it just feels so good because um, I'm I can't get that all the time so um so yeah I don't miss them but as soon as I get on the road to go get them I'm like so anxious to see them so um but like I'm right next door to them so I'm like oh, come on come out come hurry up so I can go get my babies so um, but yeah, it was, I hate driving in the dark, especially on the highway, but it wasn't that bad, so, yeah. But I'll be driving back alone, so pray for me, you guys. What are you crying for? Which one is turning on the light? Brennan. the only one happy to see mama. <laughs> Tristan's over there asleep. Knocked out. Hey 
guys okay it's been a while but I just wanted to come to you guys um, oh first of all it's so quiet in the background because I don't have the kids <laughs> yeah so um, it's their dad's weekend but that fell through so um, my mom was like well you know Nikki you know you need a break so um, and don't be ashamed that you need a break you need a break and I will get I will keep them so thank you mom for keeping them thank you joy because she's there helping her as well um but so it's i got two different times so it's 10 37 over there says 10 36 um at night and i just got here um because i really just left my mom's um not too long ago but um yeah so i come home and let me tell you guys earlier we were in my room and let me let me do this real quick all right so this is the microwave this is what i'm gonna be talking about and well this is the kitchen okay so from my from the kitchen to my room well, look at those lines, but this is and this is my room right here okay so we were in my room um i was sitting here reading a book and they were just you know jumping all over the bed up under the bed and whatnot so um me and brady and both looked at each other like do you smell something burning so i shot up guys i was like oh my gosh what is this i saw everybody in here but somebody came in last and if you know my kids you will know that it was canaan because Kanan, he gets into, into some stuff. Cameron does too. But Kanan is so weird. Like, he gets into some crazy stuff. So, I open my door. As soon as I open my door, I just seen, like, smoke at the top of the ceiling. Like, just smoke coming in. So, I'm like, oh, my God. So, I run, y'all. So, and I guess this is why it took me uh, so long to smell it. Because my room, I mean, it's weird. I'm like, on, here's, the, here's my room, the wall. But it's like, you know, it took some time for that smoke to come back there. So I don't know how long, you know. But anyways, um, I come in here, y'all. It was smoke everywhere. It just stunk so bad. It was like some, ugh, it stunk. Like some stinky smoke. So I'm like, oh my God, what is, what is going on? So I come here and I'm like, okay, I got something in the crock pot. Well, I had something in the crock pot. I'm like, it got to be the microwave. I open the microwave, y'all. Poof, smoke hit me in my face and I'm like oh my gosh so earlier that morning I made pancakes there's always leftover pancakes so I put them in there because that boys the boys love pancakes so much that they would eat it again for lunch so um I had like two or three pancakes in there and um Kanan I don't know what number he pushed but it had to be like five minutes or something because you guys it the I mean you talking about black burnt like this those are the colors of those of those pancakes like it was so oh it was bad so um I had to open up all the windows and um yeah I had to open up all the windows and just air the we had to go outside and everything I mean it was so much smoke I was like oh my gosh and the alarm uh the fire alarms then go off so i'm gonna have to get that checked out because um yeah i mean they should have went off because of all the smoke that was in the house so i open up the windows we go outside um for like 30 30 45 minutes and we let it kind of at least let the smoke come out but the smell yeah, ugh, the smell of burnt pancake like extremely burnt pancakes is it's gross so anyway so I we left um, we eventually leave and um, um, Brady had a he was out of school today today is Friday so he was out of school today because his school he goes to a private school and for like one full day they do teacher parent conference so it was his time so we had to be there so we left I had left the windows open um, I come back, this is my first time coming back, and I still smell it. Like, it's still, um, it's still there. Like, I think it's going to take a couple of days for it to completely air out. But, y'all, the, the microwave, ugh. 
it's a good microwave. I like it. Like it's it's pretty big. It's a really big microwave. Like I really, really like this thing. We were given this um by a friend and I don't want to open it but y'all the inside of that thing it stinks so bad like that the burnt smell and I want to so bad save it because like I said it's a very very good microwave and um it's big like I like how big it is um but I'm like oh my gosh I don't want to get rid of it but if that smell don't go away, I think I'm going to have to because it's just, it stinks so bad. But I'm, of course, have to wait until I get the money to do it. But I'm like, if, if it stinks so bad. But I, now, about to be 10.50. I think I'm about to go sit on the couch. And, like, I don't know what to do with myself. I really don't. <laughs> like, what can I do? It's 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night. What is there, what can I do? So I'm thinking I might just watch some Lifetime movies and yeah, I mean, is that what I'm supposed to do? I mean, I don't know what to do with myself. Okay, let's go watch some Lifetime movies. Good morning. It's the next morning and um, I am waiting at the YMCA for Brayden and my dad. Brayden has a basketball game this morning and um, I hate to miss a game. So mom's like, well, why don't you just sleep in? I'm like, look, I didn't miss any of his football games. Uh, I'm not missing any of his basketball games unless, you know, emergency happens or whatnot. But I think they just got here. Yeah, there they go. And um, I have his clothes, so he called me early this morning. Mama, don't forget to bring my clothes. Are you going to bring them? Because I was like, good morning, Brady. Like, dang, good morning. <laughs> so he, he's already called me looking for his clothes. But they're getting out the car, so I'm going to get out the car. and uh, I'll get, let y'all see his game. Hey. Good morning. Where's your jacket? Why you didn't bring a jacket? Here, hey, Papa. Thank you. Thank The game is over. They don't keep score, so I really don't even know who won. I think somebody keeps score, but um, yeah. But anyways, all right. So Brayden is headed with Papa to go get his haircut. So I gotta go get the twins and Tristan from my mom's house. Um, cause he he's gonna get their haircut as well. Thank God for my daddy. Like he's just so amazing. Um, like I said, they didn't go with their dad this weekend, so I was hoping that he would take them to get their hair cut, but, um, my dad is always, like, you know, he's always on point with, um, uh, if they're missing out on something, then he's gonna take care of it, you know, so, 
Um, I'm about to call my mom and tell her to get them dressed. So that way, um, by the time I get over there, I can just put them in the car and let's go. Because um, um, I think he's headed over there now. So. Did you get your hair cut? You got your hair cut? Hey, handsome. Hey, handsome. Oh, okay. I guess y'all don't want to talk. Hey, everyone. Okay, it's Sunday. And, um, it's about to be 11 o'clock at night. And, oh, no, I'm sorry. It's not Sunday. It's Saturday night. Um, after the boys got the haircut, we went to my mom's, back to my mom's, and she cooked wings and fries and stuff like that. Um, and we watched a movie, um, what did we watch? Mm, I'm going to have to put in the description because I cannot remember. I have to ask Joy. I'm tired. Um, I shouldn't even turn on the camera this late, but <laughs> I didn't want to just leave you guys hanging. But, um, yeah, we watched the movie. And after that, we, um, my brother took us home. Um, so, yeah, it's 11 o'clock and I'm like, oh, we gotta go to church in the morning. And I don't know if I'm feeling it, but um, I think I'm gonna push through and just make it happen. So, yeah. Good night, guys. I'll see y'all. I might not even come on tomorrow, I don't know, because I don't, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be at home all day. And, um, yeah, so see you guys later.